I was groomed because I put myself in that situation. If I would have never catfished him in the first place, I would have never been in this position. He deserved to be on catfish because there's no way you got catfished by a fifth grader. When we would talk, he would always play. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, you know, it's been a long time. I usually try to post like every couple of days, but the last time I seen you, my mental health was extremely low. Let's just get into the video. I'll be deep conditioning my hair and telling a story time about why the fuck I cannot listen to all of me. I know a lot of you always be like, what is a very traumatic time? And I am literally traumatized by this, y'all. I can't listen to the song and I'm so serious to this day. Um, when I tell people why it's so traumatic, a lot of times people play it to try to get a reaction out of me so today i'll be deep conditioning my hair i have this detangling brush i have this my these my this my yelly my L, however you want to say it i have the basu and mint conditioner deep conditioner this is my favorite deep conditioner i couldn't find it for the longest and then when i went to the hair store i seen it. i was like oh, that one come here and then i have my spray bottle because i need to um wipe my hair because i used to shampoo but i don't feel like shampooing and then coming to film and then go back in the shower no so let's get into the story time because this is already so long the intro is long as hell and i know y'all don't care this is what my hair looks like you want to run you want to 360 i'm also spraying my hair with um water just to get my hair a little bit detangled so when i was in third grade i was damn sure like when not third grade but like when i was younger i was hella developed like i don't know i just was always on social media and me and my friend used to like go on kick and then i don't know if this was a thing because i feel like it really was like uh 2000 no what's fifth grade year i would say maybe like 2013 was the year of like catfish and like everybody would go on kick and then you would look up light skin boy or light skin girl and that's who you would use to catfish me and my friends for some reason we were like big on that like since Kick started um becoming like a worldwide thing me and my friends always like did that shit like we will always be on kick and we will always be catfishing people and with me and this one friend in particular me and her love doing that shit i don't know why but like we would literally go on like these social medias and we would just like text people on kick because you know you'll be have a friend of a friend or i don't remember how it used to work you would just find whoever you wanted to be your victim or whoever was just hella gullible at the time and we would just play them and catfish them that's what me and my friend used to do like all the time and one day in particular we was doing it and i was a girl this time i used to always be boys because i used to like do it to my friends and stuff i used to catfish my friends and stuff mind you this was a thing like it wasn't like oh just this one day i decided to do it it was a career like you know i could have been on me i could have been with me right now like you know what i mean like i I used to do it for fun like that was what I looked forward to after school was going to catfish these people after school I had progressed from like just using people's pictures to like finding real life people on these platforms finding hella of their pictures so that when they'd be like oh what's your uh can I see another picture of you you would actually have the evidence and it wouldn't be like oh she's a catfish because you know I don't know if I had ever got caught before but I got caught by my friends before doing it even though it was a known thing in our friend group we used to do that to each other all the time so I mean I mean, we always used to clock each other like hella quick like, like I, bitch, right, I know who you are baby get on my dm there was this one time in particular me and my friend was had been catfishing that night i was catfishing a boy this particular time with my friend and i start talking to this guy mind you again i'm literally in like fourth grade this is me from the future editing with this deep conditioner still in my hair so i did the math i was actually in fifth grade um the song came out seven years ago and seven years ago i was in fifth grade unless i was in fourth grade and i'm just dumb didn't do the math right anyways proceed with the video all these people we were catfishing were in middle school or high school me and the guy who i had started talking to like ready to catfish in the beginning he's just like you know was talking to me and i started liking conversation with him the conversation wasn't too much for me to be like scared like we weren't talking about anything actual or we weren't talking about anything like you know to the point where it would creep me out in that age so i was just like okay whatever the conversation proceeded into the next morning now usually with these catfishes things i was either clocked within like a couple of hours of talking to them or like it would get too much and i would block them but with this particular person i never blocked him and like i actually wanted to talk to him i don't know if it's because i wanted a boyfriend or whatever it was i don't know why i put myself in this situation but um i i like didn't block him within the couple of hours like that was protocol with me and my friends like if we don't want to be caught by people we would block them within the like the first hour also i'm mixing these deep conditioners together we would block them within the hour of like not hour or like you know the same day we would never bring it on until the next day this is where i should fucked up you're not supposed to talk to people within the next day you're supposed to just block them that night but i decided i don't care i want to talk to him so I started talking, I literally started talking to him like all the time. Mind you, he starts asking me for pictures because you know I'm starting to see what he looks like. I remember he was just like this brown skin boy and I'm supposed to be this light skin green hair eye girl with curly hair bitch. I was permed head, 
fat as fuck and I was brown skinned. Listen, they said they wanted something like this. They got this. I can't. Get out. They got a fat fourth grader. Mind you, in the process of this, I'm still catfishing other people. Like, I just liked his conversation more. So that's why I was talking to him more than I was talking to anybody else. I literally wanted a conversation with this man. I decided to take, because one of the girls had posted, I don't remember who it was. Like, I'm not going to lie to you and be like, oh, I remember who it was. It was just a light-skinned girl with, like, cream eyes or something, curly hair. And the picture looks hella real because it was literally just a random teenager who I decided to use, <laughs> which is hella dangerous. And I apologize for all my activities. So one day, she, I seen on her Instagram, she posted a picture of herself but like in a bikini or something and I decided to pope make it my kick profile because you know I wanted to amp it up a little bit and make him feel like oh, I wanted him to feel like oh like she's fine like her body is like fine her body is like hella skinny and da -da -da. and mind you again I am a fat fourth grader or like fifth grader I don't remember how old I was I put it as my kick profile we had met on kick by the way and I made it my kick profile because you know your kick profile is really where everybody knew how you was feeling if you were sad you used to put that black screen if you was happy you would post a quote that I talked about if you was mad at that boy you used to post a quote about him ah, ah, ah. so I posted a bikini picture and he swiped up and not swiped up but he sent to me he was like you look good as fuck baby blah 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 mind you at the time I think he told me he was like 20 or 18 or something and he talked like a regular teenager he was like you look good and now this is where the parts were x talk sex talk um call it body talk so me and him started having body talk not on my end more so it was on his end and I didn't really know nothing about it but like I did but like I didn't like but I did but I didn't eventually um, we just were talking and I started feeling gross because the conversation went from like literally me and him talking about Uvu or like me and him talking about like just regular kid shit like I don't know the fucking DSi like we used to play Mario Kart or whatever like we both used to play that so it went from like us talking about DSi games to fucking <laughs> baby take them drawers off hey you know what I mean so I used to get scared I started feeling nasty now because like I don't know I started having like this internal feeling where you know just something's wrong even with that kick profile i kept losing the um like because you know how once you like logged in it would like log you out and delete all your conversation i kept losing his contact and he would always find me like literally on every like kick i made so like i had to stop making my profile like my kick profile that like just pictures of me period because he would always find my profile even when i like used to start cutting him off not talking to him anymore you know that toxic that toxic way it's like that's where i started this is where it all started babe so i would literally stop talking to him and then he would always find my kick profile i don't know how it is maybe it was because it was connected to an email or a fucking number i don't think it was but like i don't remember it was so long ago so he used to always find me so i had to stop making my kick profiles pictures of me because i was just like baby boy like you gonna be you gonna know you gonna be real mad when you see me on a picture like this i literally just started blocking him but he started f kept finding me so one day like i started talking to him again but now the conversation had went from like again dsi talking games mario kart uvu movie star planet imvu to literally like baby take them drawers off a at this point i was being groomed i was groomed because i put myself in that situation i don't know if he knew that he was talking to a child but like i knew i was talking to somebody who was way older than me and like you could start seeing the difference like i'm like 12 or something and then he's like 18 20 so it was just very like the it was just off i started feeling nasty what he was pushing i was not interested in i was literally like crying because i felt weird like it it was like this pit in my stomach where i knew what i was doing was wrong as fuck like i knew what i was doing was wrong as fuck and then he had said like oh let's get on a call and like let's talk so now i was like okay that's fine because i don't have to show my face and like when we would talk he would always play this is where, this is where everything, just, like, this is why I feel this way. When we would talk, he would always play All of Me by John, John Legend. It would always be in the back. So now, this song just associated me with this thing and th this gut feeling or this feeling that I had of feeling gross and feeling like what the fuck is going on he was telling me he was coming home from church and he was like hop on a call with me while I'm in the car so mind you he drove at this point mind you I'm in elementary school so if you drive you're gr you're years older than me because I'm literally in like fifth grade so you're years older than me and I was like okay and he was in the car and he I said he just came from church and the song all of me was playing in the background I got triggered because I felt gross like again I I felt like every single time I saw, talked to him, I felt horrible. Like, I was being groomed. Oh, 
One second, y'all. I was being groomed and he didn't even know it. I should have never, like, babe, where was the parental guidance? Like, you know what I mean? My, my mom, I don't blame my mother because, you know, I had kicked to talk to my friends, not to be on here catfishing people and putting myself in these situations. And my, if my mom knew, she definitely would have stopped it right then in the fuck there. So I wasn't blaming her. So um, one day he was telling me how he, he was coming home from church and he had told me to get on a call with him and he starts talking the way, you know, he starts talking about body. He, like, he was just getting into it. He was very much, you know, telling me he can't wait to see me. He gonna come visit me. And I was like, please don't. And he was like, where do you live? And I had told him where I live. I was like, oh, I live in New York. And mind you, he lived in like this country ass place, bitch. Don't nobody know where that's at. So I was just like, okay, at least he'll never be this close to me. He was like talking about, you know, what he was about to do when he get home. Like, sir, didn't you, didn't you just come from church? Did you not just tell me you came home from church? You just came home from church, sir. Why are this what we're talking about? So I start getting that feeling, you know, the feeling I was telling you about, that gut feeling, that feeling gross, like feeling disgusting, feeling like you shouldn't be doing it, especially because you don't even know my identity. But it was just like, ugh, whatever. One day I had slipped up. I had posted a picture of me, what I look like, on my regular kick and he knew my kick accounts and he finds my picture and he's like oh who's this and i got scared so i said it was my little sister and he was like oh okay like let me meet her one day so i was like, okay he calls me and then i had changed voices and act like a different person let's call him like brandon i was like hi brandon and he was like hey sister you know i'm in love with your sister and stuff and then i was like changed back to my regular voice and i was like okay like get out my room like get out my room ricky like you're weird like you know like jessica like and then my little, the little sister be like jessica Please, like, you're my older sister. I love you, Jessica. Brandon would be on the line, like, Yeah, I have a little brother too. Like, you know, he get on my nerves. And I was over here, like, I'm the little brother. It's me. I'm the little brother. I don't, I'm the little brother. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm the little brother. Another Sunday hit, and I was trying to ghost him. I wasn't really talking to him, or I had gotten in trouble or something. And me and him was talking again, and that night, I felt gross again because I started feeling like, oh my God, like what is going on? Like, I don't know how to cut this man off because I don't never been, I'm not supposed to even be in this situation. Like who, I'm not going to take it to an adult. I'm not going to tell my mom because why would I tell my mom and then end up like getting in trouble because I'm the one who put myself in this position. If I would have never catfished him in the first place, I wouldn't have been in this position. I was really blaming myself. It was a lot of like self-conflict going on and I started feeling gross because you know, he's talking about topics that I don't feel comfortable talking about, especially with a total stranger, especially with someone who's older than me, way more advanced than me and blah, blah, blah and as far as I knew he didn't know who I what age I was yet so then one day it was on Skype and we did not turn on the cameras like this was a routine we never turned on the cameras but we were on Skype and he sent me pictures of him allegedly and I sent pictures of me allegedly I don't even know if this is what he looks like but I'm pretty sure because one day on FaceTime or on Skype he did turn on his camera and I was like yeah this is definitely this is definitely who I was thinking like this is definitely who is in these pictures so one day i was like to him like i literally we was on skype and all of me was playing in the background y'all i was triggered i was like i cannot do this shit like he just starts doing what he does and i was just like i am not this is not me i'm a catfish lol and i hang up and he calls me back to back 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 i was just like i can't so now this song all of me was associated with this this situation that happened in my life so i blocked him on kick he finds my kick he finds my other ones I blocked him on um, Skype. He found my other Skype. I blocked him on... No, I blocked him on Skype. He found me on Uvu. I was like, literally, I don't know what to tell you. So I told him, I was like, I'm I'm only in fifth grade. Let's say I was 10 or 11 in fifth or fourth grade. I was like, I'm only 11. So fuck off, you know? He was just like, it's okay. Like, I don't care. Like, do you look like what you look like in the picture? And I'm like, no, I don't. I was smart enough to not send him a picture of what I really look like in real life. But I just sent him another picture of a catfish girl. And he was just like, all right, you still look pretty. Like, it's okay. Like, why would you betray me? Because at first, don't think he wasn't mad. Nah, he was cursing me out. He was like, I knew something was wrong because you never want to turn on your camera. Which I didn't because why would I? He would not have seen Jasmine. He would have been seeing fucking, fucking, I don't even know. He would have been seeing Ricky. And Ricky was not Jasmine at all. But then eventually he started saying to me like, oh, it's okay as long as you look like that, it's okay. I was like, all right, fine. Then fine, you know, I fell back in that trap and he started playing the song again. Then he found out that I was lying about that profile picture. And this is why I just had to cut all ties with him because I was just like, child, I can't do this shit. Like, what do you want from me? I can't do it. Like, I literally was like to him, bro, like you keep, you, like you're literally harassing the fuck out of me. Like, please fuck off. And um, I started blocking him. And then I finally ended up blocking him on, like, everything. And I think he was really finding my pictures from, like, this email. So I stopped using that email. And then he never really reached out back to me. This is when all of me was, like, very popular. And for the longest time, I couldn't listen to it without feeling that disgusting feeling. And now I still can't listen to it without feeling that disgusting feeling. But... <laughs> 
it's just it's just very traumatic like to have something like that happen to you and i know damn well like before y'all start with me yes i know i was a kid and yes i know that i should have never even been doing that in the first place i mean i can't really blame him i mean i i didn't tell him how old i was for the longest time and then when i did tell him how old i was he was just like okay as long as you look like your picture <laughs> was it like i don't look like my picture and i sent him another picture and i knew he shouldn't and then at that point he should have really just blocked me because once you figure out that you're talking to someone who's in fifth grade and you're literally like 20 baby you should have just like moved the fuck on but he didn't <laughs> so this is why i don't listen to i can't listen to that song because it brings me now i'm fine because the memory is so fucking suppressed unless i talk about it to the point where if someone plays it i think about that situation but I don't feel disgusted. I did what I did. I mean, I literally catfished him. I never told nobody that story because, again, when you have that, I don't know how to describe that feeling to y'all. After, like, that happened, I still was catfishing with my friend, but I had, like, kind of chilled because, you know, I, I didn't know how to feel about what happened with him prior because, you know, him doing all of that on the phone and stuff, I just was just like... <sighs> What is, what is, is this, is this what being a, an adult is like? I'm closer to 20 than I am to 11 or 12 or however old I was. And I would never, I would not, well, times have changed. So you never know. But like, you know, I just feel like being on a social media app right now, bitch, and FaceTiming somebody who you don't even know what they look like and doing, not FaceTime, but Skyping somebody, no picture, baby. He deserved to be on Catfish because there's no way you got Catfish by a fifth grader. It's either he knew and he just didn't, like, care to say nothing. So, yeah, that's my story. And that's why I cannot listen to uh, John Legend, John Legend, all of me. But I remember he used to always sing it on the phone. His voice was hella deep. He sounded like Dark Vader. You gave me all of me. Oh. And I was like, uh, on the phone. Like, y'all don't do what I do. Like, please don't do what I do. Like, if I would have just played my DSI and not did dumb shit, I would not be in this situation. At some point, I do think that he knew he was talking to, like, a light-skinned girl with curly eyes. Like, he did think that. But eventually, it's just like, we was talking for, like, how long, sir? You're telling me you never suspected. Well, you know... But yeah, this is my deep conditioner, y'all. You know, my hair is kind of looking like hella moisturized. That's the story on why I cannot listen to John Legend, All of Me. And I still wouldn't listen to it and put it on my playlist. Like, everybody, when we grew up and, you know, everybody had, like, the feelings playlist, I still felt some type of way when, you know, that song came on. Like, I like I still felt some type of way. Like, everybody used to have it on. I was like, nah, bitch, play some Janae Echo. I don't need to listen to that song. I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight you straight because i'm straight yeah that's my story and i hope you guys didn't enjoy it and i hope you guys were not influenced by anything i did in this video because it was wrong don't catfish people it's just so embarrassing like okay granted you can have your little instagram accounts like i know y'all have y'all instagram accounts for y'all stocking that x but you shouldn't be having an instagram account to you know catfish people and i did it i'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you remember that situation maybe you just know this was me this who was uh catfish you sir i know i was wrong i know i was wrong please don't judge me anyways i'm out of here i'm out of here bye <laughs>